Today in the crypto space, we see the market showing a bit of weakness. Bitcoin below the 60,000, Ethereum below that $3,600 mark, down approximately 3.5%. And the rest of the crypto space, these altcoins are coming down. We have Sol, Avax, Matic, and many others reaching lower levels. But the question is, are we going to get that bounce? Are we finally going to get a bit of relief here from a bullish response to the upside? In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about one project that currently is looking for support and it looks like it want to it wants to spring off of horizontals and that project is called thorchain rune so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 8 p.m est where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here we do see that the overall market is you know getting a bit of a hit market cap coming down approximately 6.7 percent you can see that little dip here and the, what's concerning me me is the trading volume as the volume is increasing we're seeing the sell-off there's that means that market participation agrees with this dip and we're getting sell pressure based on volume not a good look overall but the question is um is it over right is it over is it done is the selling over are we going to get a, a reversal any a moment now and the the, the the good news about uh, you know sell pressure is that eventually we do get a bullish response and then we get a bearish response and we get a bullish response as long as we do get a, some trending price action out of this it's totally fine and as of now all we're seeing is a dip okay so what we really have to do is track what's been happening in the last little while i do see that bitcoin has been coming down as you can see made a nice low into this level but we need to see this big picture it does look like a bart simpson style retracement ethereum a nice rounded top and rolling over this way doesn't look good and th there goes the rest of the market solana and the list goes on if you keep on looking at ton coins looking pretty good getting a nice little double bottom triple bottom inverse head and shoulders potentially right into this level looking pretty good as well uh cardano dipping down and many projects at the current moment are down approximately i would say another two to five percent for today so what we really have to do is focus on what's been happening big picture with some of these projects are we in some double digit dips are the low caps that have been bleeding out a little bit giving you opportunities to buy in you know that's a question but if you're looking at five percent for me that's not enough for me i like the double digits at least 20 percent dips and then i'm interested um some of these projects are not that in in that state uh polygon today is down 11.2 percent um uniswap down four and a half percent more or less so we do see a continuation to the downside for ethereum based projects looking a bit weak but we're getting a bit of a pop in the tail end right so if you go back to ethereum quickly you can see that it's getting a bit of a pop right now a bit of relief let's see if this eventually becomes a structure that we can trade to the upside where we do see a bit of strength back into the market in the short term we do see some trending price action on uh, on the lower time frames right to the downside and we got to see what happens here on the four hour to suggest a reversal we do see um, a lot of projects coming down filecoin and sui and many others taking that retracement but we got to look at is big picture what happened in the last little while you know that that um could counterbalance this dip if we went up uh, uh, approximately 20 percent and we're only down five percent really all we are going to do is classify this as a retracement and we can see that on the charts right now, a lot of these projects are trying to hold horizontal supports in, in desperate measures for sure, because ultimately we want to see a reversal. We want to see the altcoin season. We want to get in at great risk to reward ratio opportunities. And as these altcoins test those horizontal levels, we have convictions. We need to have convictions because that's when you should be buying the dip, to be honest, is when you start seeing horizontal supports, you know, being tested. 
it's all about the risk to reward guys it's all about the risk to reward so at the current moment we are seeing weakness throughout the market and you got to make some real decisions based on convictions do you start buying the dips or are you going to be waiting for more to the downside and if it does happen great but what about if it doesn't this is why dca is a great uh, opportunity not coin getting a bit of a bounce we saw ton coin showing some strength so we're seeing not coin also do very well um and um if you continue going down the retracement is real guys it's definitely there all right guys let's jump right into some of this price action i know you're here to talk about charts let's see what's going on here with bitcoin bitcoin falling below the horizontal you know closing a daily candle and opening a uh, and potentially closing another daily candle below the 200 daily ema is not a good look so we got to see what happens here in the next couple hours as we close the daily candle in about nine hours and, and then we'll definitely see how this looks but just to throw it out there guys we've been closing daily candles in the past below the 200 disrespecting the 200 as a trend and uh, disrespecting the 200 as support and obviously even disrespecting it as resistance scrubbing right through it many many times like it doesn't even exist so the question is what do we expect in the next little while are we going to continue this upwards trend making higher highs and higher lows or are we going to roll over and test these bottoms and fill the wick here at the bottom end let's take a look at this in a bit more detail really bitcoin has been um one of the worst leading indicators in the last little while to be honest and, and this is normal obviously when you're going sideways ranging going sideways in the chop zone guys what else do you expect right this is this is a, a trader's nightmare this is not a great place to be trading because the the price action is not trending in any direction are we going bearish or bullish now you could trade the you know the the short term get into these swings to the upside and to the downside but even in this tail end right here or even looking at this right here before the expansion you can see how things tightened up significantly and this is where the majority of the 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 market gives their gains back to the market right so we got to be very careful here guys i would suggest that if you're actively trading at the current moment risk management is so so important and take it easy take it take a break let's say that let's take a break because if we do get indications of a trending uh market then at least we know which direction to go whether it be up or down it doesn't matter at least we know there's a direction at the current moment we do have an indication of direction we do see a nice three wave structure to the upside and now we're getting another uh, dip down to lower levels and the question is is this going to be an impulsive move similar to this one guys it's possible and as i mentioned live the other day it is very possible um that we do one of these right we came down for an impulse we came down here we come back up and then we do abc and here it is right correction and then what about if we come down for another dip you know it, it could be possible that we come and test these lower lows um uh, based on these lows and see do we make another lower low or do we make a higher low or do we use this horizontal support as support once again all very possible right but what about if you know we do not break this low and we eventually go for another you know move to the upside and we continue trending because you can see that we're making higher highs and higher lows and maybe we start going up to here so really what i'm worried about is making decisions without much data and there, to be honest there's not much data it does look like it's in, a, in an expansion phase uh, or preparing for that expansion phase let's take a look at some oscillators here real quick volatility is pushing to the downside i'm not happy about that i would like to see the orange line fully oversold like it was here in the past green dot boom move to to the upside and if we can do the opposite every time we go overbought or oversold usually those are great times to start building short or long positions right in the middle of the of its path is not a good idea to make decisions particularly as you see the momentum stuck in the chop zone as you can see stuck in the 50 percent mark of the oscillator not a good place to start getting into fresh trades however planning up a setup is not a bad idea because at least you're going sideways and you know more or less where your invalidation is but to be honest the way the price action is right here i would be staying away personally i wouldn't be touching any of this because it does look like it might want to come down further and i want to be prepared for lower levels where the opportunity is a lot better because oversold conditions is where it's at the only thing that kind of bothers me is this and i'm going to be clear about the fact that statistically speaking we usually get really good good oversold states and then get responses from the bulls that bring us to nice overbought states and you can kind of you know back test this right oversold and then eventually we start, you know, trending and overbought. We get these, you know, swings uh, a lot of the times. And even if they're not major swings, at least we know that, okay, if we're moving up to the upside, we got a massive expansion, massive expansions, and we're up here. Then we come down for a test and still continue to the upside. We do get peaks and valleys, even on momentum. The, th the thing is, is that the way it is at the current moment, 
All right, we got a bit of a bounce off of oversold and now we're in the chop zone. Do we get overbought eventually? Maybe after we get oversold in volatility, we get down to this level, we see volatility push up, which is great, back to overbought conditions. And then we see the momentum finally, potentially, you know, come down a little bit and then get back up with the volatility. And it's gonna take some time, guys. We're talking about the daily time frame, so we're gonna have to wait for some daily candles. But ultimately in the short term, I mean on the four hour, it does look like, you know, we're in oversold conditions and showing a lot of weakness as you can see look at the expansion that we got on the four hour massive expansion you know coming down to a very very mature state we see uh, momentum very very um oversold obviously and we see the trend the trend oscillator emas are facing down with red histogram bars so bitcoin ultimately is not in a good place if it breaks below uh, previous lows because then we're confirming a lower low so back to the daily because the, the the four hour is looking a bit weak, but the daily is still okay. There is a possibility that we see it get overbought and that's what's more concerning to me, okay? So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. So back on the daily, as long as we do not break below, let me get the, let's get rid of the oscillators because they're not giving us an edge at the current moment. As long as we don't br break below this level right here and now do we include the wick or exclude the wicks? I'm just keeping this bottom right into here. As long as we do not come down below this level, guys we're still okay we're still okay in fact it could be a bullish thing to make that right shoulder that right uh, higher low and then obviously looking for a, a move to the upside now if you consolidate this and you know kind of squeeze it up you can see that we're still in the wedge the wedge statistically should break out bullish i know that this is a really really bad place to be trading so take it easy and start doing research to start looking into those altcoins all right guys let's jump right into the alt of today rune thor chain rune and the only reason why i'm bringing a thor chain rune up uh, um, today is because it looks pretty cool i kind of like this chart now it's not the cleanest it's not the best i'll be honest but what it's showing us is an opportunity um because we can see that horizontals are being respected and a lot of the times these are these are swing failure patterns essentially um if you notice um we came down and then we broke below horizontal that we used in the past right over here. And we used it over here many, many times within the consolidation. The um, bears had enough strength to break below it. It got some support right here on this diagonal. And if you look left, this diagonal has a lot of confluence using these bottoms and these tops and these tops right here. So, you know, this kind of explains what's happening right into these two bottoms. And then we came back up and we came back right through. So disrespecting the horizontal. But what I like right now is that although we did come down for a lower low to pick up some more bullish bids, people that bought the dips that are bullish on Rune, the question is, was that enough? Was that enough of a buy order? Now, this, you know, little little candle right here, okay, could it be a, ha a hammer? Doesn't really look like it, but okay, let's say it's it could be a bottom what's interesting to me is that we came back above horizontal and now are currently above the horizontal and in fact we got a reaction of uh, uh, you know rightly uh, so above that horizontal which is very very interesting and now if you look at the daily you keep on the daily and you start looking at those two bottoms right there that are currently holding support on this horizontal those are tweezer bottoms so tweezer bottoms are usually good patterns to suggest you know reversals now if we get into lower time frames you're going to see how this looks like from a swing failure patterns type of scenario where you can see that we went we came down below swept the lows got a couple of people wrecked hunted stop losses and so on right and then we came back above and you know and once we got above we started kind of like respecting the horizontal right because obviously my horizontal could be as accurate as possible but you know there's a bit of a wiggle room right into here and we came back up and look what we did we back tested the horizontal again these bottoms and now we got a nice reaction to the upside so the question is can we maintain this current state and um you know basically use the previous horizontal support as a level that we can spring off of and potentially continue to the upside and this is why i've brought rune up is because traditionally speaking yeah when you see trending price action particularly to the downside such as this one you can see lower lows and lower highs the question is at what point let me get rid of some of this artwork. At what point do we start looking at this as an opportunity? Because, you know, after a while, how much more of a corrective measure could we get here? We broke below the, the uh, head and shoulder formation. Fine. The measured move is all the way down here. It's still very, very possible. But what I do like it is it's currently battling this horizontal. If we stay above the horizontal and even go into a consolidation right over here, guys, it does look promising. We got an impulsive move. You know, we're respecting horizontal. We have a clear invalidation, big picture invalidation 
invalidation, uh, you know, lower time frame invalidation, and then we can go for another impulsive move to the upside. Another thing that could be interesting as well is even if we do come down and make a higher low, that could still be pretty good, given the fact that we have a low right here and we come up for a, come down for a higher low. And if we come up for a higher high, not only do we come up for a higher high, but we have the potential to break above the 200 daily. And breaking above the 200 daily suggests pivot. And if we are getting bullish divergence into this level, I'm interested. Guys, I don't know, so let's check it out. Let's check out these oscillators. Um, you can see that right into the zone, we're making lower lows on the price action. Um, and, and we can put that in right there. And you can see right here on this bottom, based on this bottom, we are making higher lows. So class A bullish divergence it is currently. So it's not bad. And if you look at the momentum, the momentum got a divergence here, got the follow through already. I don't like this. I don't like this at all because it came down lower than this one. So there's no divergence. Now it basically got invalidated after this little follow through. But if we extend this all the way down here and we start looking at what is happening big picture from here all the way to where we are currently, it is still kind of diverging, right? And in fact, it would be diverging on higher time frames right because really we're including a lot more data here to give us uh, an indication it's just this level right here this scenario right here that kind of um you know through through a curveball so the what i kind of like of what is happening is we are currently you know struggling at a level that we could get support we fell through a bit of a volume gap and got a quick buy up which is a sign of strength good amount of volume and let's talk about that for a second because those oscillators gave us everything we need so far the volume is interesting if you look at this volume bar right here it's great but it's red and what we have to understand is because it's it, it, it ended off this candle ended off being red this is why the volume is red but you can understand that at least 50 percent of this volume belonged to the bulls as well and we've got a nice wick a nice buy up and all of that and in fact after this buy up we got a nice trend to the upside so what I'm looking for is, you know, this looks like a five wave structure to the upside. Maybe we get a three wave structure to the downside. Maybe we make that higher low and we start looking for some sort of reversal pattern based on the class A bullish divergence. And that's what I try to look for is horizontal levels that get risk are potentially looking for respect. Let's put it that way. And ultimately indications of momentum and trend that's are, that are suggesting that the weakness in the bears are, is coming in and they do not have enough strength to make that lower low. If this does come into play, guys, uh, the dip on Thorchain Rune should be bought and accumulated because that is possibly your last opportunity to get into a reversal pattern. Now, when I speak about reversal patterns, what I'm really talking about is the change of character. What I'm looking for is something to suggest that we are no longer making lower lows and lower highs. And this is potentially the opportunity after multiple drives of class a bullish divergence and below the 200 daily in this type of consolidation it could be that this is in the works that we are looking for that pivot point so the next um a little while the next 24 48 hours what i'm going to be watching is the store chain rune actually break below the horizontal or does this respect this horizontal similar to what's happening here but from the inverse perspective where we get that bull flag and continue are we going to come down below it and ultimately look for a nice buy opportunity close enough to invalidation which is this previous slow and the wick my major concern is that we become uh, exit liquidity as we deal with these bottoms so we're going to have to wait for nice confirmations into a nice rounded bottom showing us divergence on the lower time frames showing us a lot of signal guys join me live tonight at 8 p.m est and we could definitely keep track on rune and any other projects that you're interested in. i'll definitely put them in top priority and we'll follow those charts and look for um, definitely swing uh, movements to the upside because I feel like the market in general should be looking for a big big pivot in the next little while as we lead, lead into the fall. All right, guys, if I've offered you any value in the video, do the channel a massive favor, slap the like button. It does really help out with the algorithm. If you want to follow me on the socials, the links are in the description below. Feel free to join the Discord. The Discord is where it's at. Lots of good alpha, trade setups, fundamentals, and learning material. The best part is it's it's absolutely free. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. See you tonight, 8 p.m. EST. And don't forget, buy the dip.